emigrate to unique package and which is the settle in the UK as a tech talent. It gives you quite a number of advantage, which is the reason why we believe that if you are exploring different options for relocation and settlement uh, to the UK specifically, we believe that this may be one of the viable and maybe one of the best options, particularly if you're already at some interest in the field of technology. Maybe you were not in tech already before, but you're already at some interest to say, maybe I want to get into the field of tech. This may be the viable route for you. If you're already in tech, and you're already doing some things in tech, whether on the technical side of technology or the business side of technology, this is very viable for you as well. So it's good for beginners, it's good for you if you're already in tech. And if you already have some startup experience, you build digital technology products in the past, or you've worked in startups in the past, this is, you even have a better advantage if your profile fits that. On the technical side of tech, you could be a software developer, you could be a cybersecurity expert, you can be an infrastructure and DevOps engineer, you can be a C-sharp developer, and several different aspects of technology that is technical. But you can also be on the business side of technology. So you can be a product manager or project manager. You can be a digital marketer. You can be a scrum master, agile delivery lead, uh, sales, right? There are opportunities in sales and partnership, um, investor relations. There are several different non-technical aspects of technology as well that you could use uh, um, in terms of for this package. Also, if you've already had an experience in a different industry in the past, this may be a useful package to consider. The reason is because you will likely have transferable skills. And those transferable skills, you may be able to leverage on. In the world of technology today, we have things like fintech, which is financial technology, which means you're bringing expertise in finance, banking, all of those kind of things, plus technology to do something that is going to change the world or could change the world. If you're a lawyer, legal tech, it's really growing, and you're able to use that for your own advantage as well. Now, and I can mention there's almost no industry that you can talk about right now that they probably haven't added tech at the end. So say Meditech, civic tech, and so on. So get the point to say, don't say, oh, I'm not in technology at all, because the truth is technology is disrupting multiple sectors. So you may actually already have transferable skills. I say to some people to say, if you've grown up the way I grew up, you've probably done business analysis, for example. You may not know in your career that some of the things we're doing is called business analysis, because in some third world countries, it's not particularly a, an attractive um, industry or an attractive um, knowledge track for you to build on. But in the Western countries, they value roles like data analysts, business analysts, and so on. Those roles are highly, highly, highly valuable. And a lot of people do those things without thinking about it twice. So here's the point, is that you could have those transferable skills that you can then transfer into the field of technology. So you're not really starting as an absolute beginner. Because the truth is that you already had some skills that you are now bringing into the field of technology. People leadership is people leadership in any sector, whether tech or any other one. It's still people leadership. Sales is sales. Whether it's tech or you're selling something physical, it doesn't matter if it's still sales at the end of the day. So that's one of the things I wanted to point out to say, regardless of where you are, you could actually find out that you already have some things that you can transfer into the field of technology.